And finally, new rule three months into his presidency. It's time to admit that Joe Biden has been a huge disappointment to comedians. <laughs> All the jokes we were stockpiling about ancient, doddering, sleepy Joe. Useless. The man has been nothing short of sharp, focused, and completely on top of things. We were expecting a font of comedy gold about a senile geezer showing up to work in his pajama bottoms and <laughs> plowing his motorcade into a farmer's market. <laughs> Forget the dog, he was gonna bite someone on the South Lawn. <laughs> But a funny thing happened on the way to the old age home. Biden slayed the orange dragon and is now spearheading the most transformative administration since FDR, with an approval rating of 59%. <laughs> Even the Joe Biden ticks and gaffes that used to bug us, the hair smelling and the getting lost in a sentence and the challenging of random people to a fight in the parking lot. <laughs> gone, gone. Biden stepped up his game. Yes, he got better at 78. What a mind-blowing concept that must be to the younger generations for whom writing someone off simply for their age is the last acceptable prejudice. <laughs> oh yes. They hate every ism except ageism. It's completely forbidden to tell any joke about race, gender, religion, weight, but age? Have at it. <laughs> you ever go down the greeting card aisle at CVS? Every card for anyone over 60 is the same joke. Happy birthday, I'm surprised your dick hasn't fallen off. <laughs> <clears throat> Now, the, ex the excuse for this prejudice has always been, well, we're a young country. I've been hearing that my whole life. America's a young country. Well, tonight, I'd just like to say this, America. You're not that young anymore. <laughs> Powdered wigs was a long time ago. It's time you grew up. It's time to stop doing stupid, teenage, immature things. And number one on that list is not getting the most fundamental trade-off in life. You're beautiful when you're young, wise when you're old. This is... This is the only country in the world dumb enough not to get this most basic, intuitive, obvious, file it under duh concept. <laughs> That if, as they say, you learn something new every day, it stands to reason someone who's logged 10,000 more days is going to be, in general, a little wiser. <laughs> Life is a series of patterns. You don't see it at first, because it's not a pattern yet. But by the third time, yeah, okay, I get it now. Yes, societies need youthful energy and fresh eyes on problems, and it's true. It takes young people to start a revolution. But Biden is the right man for this moment precisely because he is old. Been there, done that. It's a virtue. He's getting things done on wealth inequality in Afghanistan and racial justice and climate change that keyboard warriors only dream about while muttering, OK, boomer. <laughs> Young, dumb, and full of cum, yes. There is a season for that. <laughs> but right now, I'll take old stooped and full of soup. <laughs> and yet, instead of finding Biden's age an asset, in America, it was his biggest obstacle. In the run-up to the last election, 37% of Americans were unabashed about telling pollsters they flat out wouldn't vote for someone over 70. Is there anything more piss ignorant than not using old people as a resource? Not taking advantage of their accumulated knowledge? <laughs> Everywhere else in the world, elders are sought for guidance. In America, elders are sought for TikTok pranks. In Greece, old man is a compliment, not something you scream after, get out of my way.
In India, young people touch old people's feet to show reverence. Japan has a national holiday called Karonohi, respect for the aged day. You know the reason why advertisers in this country love the 18 to 34 demographic? Because it's the most gullible. Yeah. A third of people under 35 say they're in favor of abolishing the police, not defunding, but doing away with a police force altogether, which is less of a policy position and more of a leg tattoo. 36% of millennials think it might be a good idea to try communism. But much of the world did try it. I know millennials think that doesn't count because they weren't alive when it happened. But it did happen. And there are people around who remember it. Pining for communism is like pining for Betamax or MySpace. So when you say, you're old, you don't get it, get what? Abolish the police and the border patrol and capitalism and cancel Lincoln? No, I get it. The problem isn't that I don't get what you're saying or that I'm old. The problem is that your ideas are stupid. <laughs> if you say, let's eat in the bathroom and shit in the kitchen, yeah, that's a new idea. <laughs> but I wouldn't call it interior design. <laughs> you think someone 80 is hopeless because they can't use an iPhone? Maybe the one who's hopeless is the one who can't stop using it. Mm. You think I'm out of it because I'm not on Twitch? Well, maybe I get Twitch, but I just think people watching other people play video games is a waste of fucking time. <laughs> Twenty percent of Gen Z agree with the statement, society would be better off if all property was owned by the public and managed by the government. And another 29 percent say they don't know if that's a good idea. Here's who does know. Anyone who wasn't born yesterday. <laughs>